So what's this relationship you have with hate? Yeah, funny story, <laughs> right? Uh, I mean, you know, okay, I think we use Kickstart because Kickstart is practically ours. And you know how much for years I have this, I wouldn't call it a love-hate relationship. It's a hate-hate relationship with another organization that organizes uh, breakfast meetings for business professionals called BNI, Business Networking International. Uh, look, it's not the people there that I hate. It's just a whole, maybe I hate old systems. Mm. And I always wonder, will the Gen Y or the Gen Z, the younger, or will my son ever join BNI? Because whenever I go there, I meet people like my dad. And I'm like, I respect entrepreneurs like that, but I just think times has changed and there should be avenues for younger entrepreneurs to hang out. So it sounds like you've used hate to motivate yourself. Yeah, and because, look, for 10 years I go around looking for another version of BNI and there isn't any. And, and the more I go to BNI meetings, because they, they go at 6.30 in the morning, for me it's really stupid. So uh, to go early in the morning and I hate that and I say, you know what, let's... Let's do something about it. There's obviously a void, perhaps. So let's let's go through what were three or four of the things that you hated. Because what happened is you most likely looked for things in your mind. Your act, yeah. your activating system actually looked for things that you hated. So you probably hated six thirty in the morning. Yes. You probably hated the system. The actual, pay, everything yeah. everything was systemized. Yeah, and everything. Uh, uh, I don't know how it works worldwide, but those that runs in KL. Yep. Uh, I need to pay, even though I'm not eating. I need to pay because they okay, say... Okay, so the rigidity of the system. Yeah. The rigidity of the payments. Another thing to hate. And I hate because it's very systematic. Right. It's like you have one minute to pitch right. and then no more, no So less. these are all these things that yeah. actually are, they're hitting all your triggers. It's they're all, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Exactly. It's just, the, the, for this is, this is the maverick. This yeah. actually almost led to the maverick even becoming more of a maverick. Because yeah. then you took all these things you hated and you decided to do something almost opposite. True. But having said that, I love that one minute pitching mm. and guess what, Kickstart today, we still keep the one minute pitch. So it's not, I hate the whole total concept of it. I see which part works and I keep it. So uh, that's about it. And basically, if you ask me the outcome on Kickstart, it's just, I, it's the same. For I'm sure there are other people who hate BNI as well. Uh, there's actually one in the UK called Anti BNI. Right. Uh, and yeah, and basically people like Anti BNI and Kickstart, we are just out of hate of a certain age old traditional system we invent things we so this is this is a really new way to look at hate it's not hate crimes it's no. actually a hate process that you might hate something is there any sort of famous other famous entrepreneurs that you know who've used hate as a motivator to be able to do things or to get things going yeah i think steve jobs comes to mind because i think chances are when he's in his man cave holding a nokia phone or blackberry and he's like trying to farm his i hate this interface it's like how come it be can it be more sexy? Can it be more intuitive? And I think that's, that's like the catalyst of how the iOS and the whole tablets and the whole uh, iPhone, actually the whole smartphone industry revolutionized because of one man's hate. Gandhi hated violence. Yes, well, actually, Very passionately. you're absolutely right. There, there is a usage of hate. In fact, I rarely use the word. Yep. Uh, yet, if I was to think I hate injustice to innocence, yeah. So that would be something that in yes, my life right now correct. is I hate injustice to innocence, young children, to different species that are just totally abused. And that's something True. that I would say that I hate. The different energy or the different ways, approaches to engage it is what you've done as an entrepreneur. I think entrepreneurs that might have an app that they, they don't like or they yeah. hate, that, that might be the fuel to inspire them or to motivate them to change it or to make something better. Yeah, actually one thing I would really uh, challenge the audience, uh, audience or even the viewers listening in is that, okay, uh, because of all this, when, when you talk about vi vision statements or mission statements, they always encourage you to state it in the positive. So one of my life's mission is basically because I believe in education, right? So I, I say, you know what? I want to feed every child in the world. Uh, it's very positive. It's to a certain point, I, I think a bit sterile until it was actually at the awesomeness fest when uh, I realized, that, you know what? What if I, I tweak it a bit and I actually change it? I said, I do not want to see another child go hungry to sleep. Yes, it's put, put in negative, but you know what? The energy that comes out from me saying that is like, I feel more motivated now. Yeah, or I hate to see another child go to sleep hungry. I must feed them. 
And it, it is. It, it's emotive. This is energy in motion. And yep. so there are words that can charge you as an individual. And that's what's really beautiful about what I've seen you and I've heard you ex- uh, say that the motivation for Kickstart is because you hate BNI. And I sit here and I, I, I respect what you're saying because it's from you. Whereas I probably wouldn't use that word. Mm-hmm. It's okay because this is something that I can learn from you. So I've actually experimented too. And, and what do I hate? And, and it can awaken the body as opposed to, to being sterile or to be almost brain dead to, yep. because you don't have any emotion. So I actually encourage some people who are watching today, go and make a list of things you hate. Don't suppress what, it. Exactly. Yeah, don't suppress it. Because yeah. whenever you suppress something, it actually does lead to disease and illness. And that's one of the things that I believe. So it's something for us to perhaps explore instead of suppress to actually express Yet you don't necessarily have to direct it at somebody. I think that's yeah, like not. if you become a hateful person, you start beating your your dog or beating someone. That like that's where I again cross the line. I I do despise that, and that's something even it's moved me to action to defend people that, that get involved in that. True. What, and what other ways do you think hate could be used today? Because this is a, a wacky topic for me to talk about. Because I tend to be positive, yet I also am aware now that negative emotions are not wrong. Nope. In fact, negative emotions are, have, are been getting a bad rap for a long time because they're, they're actually viewed as being bad or wrong, whereas it's like electricity for me. Sure. Like you have a positive flow and you have a negative current, and you actually have both to create the flow. Without it, it doesn't actually flow. Yeah. So maybe, is there another way that hate can be used to motivate? I think, okay, because of my... Uh, being a monk before, uh, whenever we meditate, we disassociate ourselves. So I think, like it or not, words are just words. I think perhaps when the person who created the word hate, it's just, it's just a four-letter word and nothing more. So like for example, failure is another one because people fear failure so much that they, don't, they try not to use the word. They say oh, challenges or obstacles cannot overcome. But you like it or not, if you did something and you failed, just say, that is a failure. You're not a failure. That thing is a failure. And actually, someone asked me before, have I ever called anyone a failure? And frankly, if the person don't realize their potential, if they are in an environment that they can grow and yet they don't, sometimes I will avoid the word, but I think, you know, that guy has failed on many levels because he has given Bond with a silver spoon, he's given all the opportunities that he, he can, and yet... You know, and even at that point, I still don't use the word failure. Yeah. But what I just invite the listeners is that just write the word down and just disassociate with it. Find ways because I think because so much, so many people have actually suppressed the hate. If you go out and ask, hey, I just want to check with you. Do you hate this? And guess what? Because you open up the conversation, they say, yeah, man, I'm just waiting for another person to just say I hate BNI. Let's do some shit together. You know, that's how you get, and you know what, the bond is stronger because you put, uh, it's very constructive. It has an energetic charge, um, yeah. Mav, like the word hate or the word failure has an energetic charge. So if you can find people to collaborate with, you can actually harness the energetic charge and you can actually harness it for whatever you want to. It doesn't have to be uh, violence. It can actually be no. to inspire or to change. So I like your idea. And, and another one, that, a technique that you might want to do is if you write the word failure or you write the word hate and you actually create a little mind map on what it means to you. And then you actually d- disperse some of the negativity to it and it can lead to creativity. Yeah. And if you do it with someone else, it's another really cool exercise because they can then share with you what it means to them. And you'll get to see the, the variety or the diversity of a relationship with words. Yeah. See, words are energetically charged for each individual. True. And they so, are very powerful as well. Absolutely. So when you have some of your haters or people that take a, peek at, a poke at you, they're actually uh, reflecting something in them that's been triggered. No, they're just jealous. No, they could be jealous because great. you have such great t-shirts. Uh, yeah, correct. I should just, for all the guys who say you hate me, here's a t-shirt for you. So. Yeah. But even, look, even the word <laughs> Dick, it's like, we know friends and the name is Dick. I don't think Richard. it's a, yeah. Richard Nixon. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think that I wouldn't say, like there, there are some people, Dick Tracy. So, yes. Yeah, so there are great guys who has this name. So what's wrong with using the name? It's just sometimes we just get so hung up. Is we get we put too much meaning into things that doesn't have a meaning in the first place, and we actually hate the word because of it, which is just it doesn't make sense. Well, that's one of our dear friends, Justin Harold, always says. It's <laughs> yeah. like next, it next. Like if you got such an emotional tie to something and it's dragging you down and your energy is being sucked, yeah. it really would benefit from doing what 
you're just saying, Mav, is to look for ways to detach from it or look for ways to investigate it. Yet don't stay stuck with it. Yeah. Failure, like you're not a failure. You might have had an exercise or an activity that you didn't get the desired results. Yep. Yet if you learn something from it, if you actually develop a new strategy, that's not failure. That's progress. That's innovation. That's wisdom. True. So this is one of the things that... Uh, uh, many entrepreneurs actually get the opportunity because we have so many learning cycles or failure loops or feedback yep. loops. That's a part of entrepreneurship. That's the part of, of the journey that's up and down because every day is certainly not smooth, which again is one of the illusions of business that if you look at the financial reports of most publicly listed company, this is their revenue. Oh, this is their profit. Oh, no, that's not how business is. Business is this. Yeah. True. And so the failure you have with sales or a failure you have with pitching or a campaign, if you're going to sit there and sulk uh, because you're a failure, get over it. Yeah, actually, this reminds me because when I started off, I'm such an introvert, right? So I actually met this lady in an insurance firm trying to sell her something. Uh, I did such a bad job that she actually dropped my mm. boss, Roy, an email said, you know what? Maverick is one of the worst salesmen I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, and Roy was, in a sense, good because he, he didn't let me read the email but i got the message that shit man i actually fuck it up big time and from then onwards i actually have two choices a three i can ethically hate her and the insurance for the rest of my life or i can improve my sales or if i still think that i'm not good in sales what are the areas i can be good at marketing pr because all these things it works hand in hand if i'm not good at asking for the closing uh statement for to get someone to sign on it and maybe I can create such an attraction that people just sign without me asking for it. So those are just ways. Yes, I hated that experience. To a certain degree, I hated her for like 48 hours. It's like, you know, screw her. But having said that, I realized that that's not productive. Why not I channel the energy into either improving my sales or learn a skill that can complement my beginners. That's fantastic. One last little comment as we bring this section to a close. What, yep. would, you like to, what would be your last comment about hate? Embrace it. Embrace it. It's not, I think, maybe your... your Around the dinner table, maybe with your mom and dad, try not to use it. But you know what? It's good to poke a bit of a fun because just remember at the end of the day, it's just a word. Just like your name, you don't even carry it after you die. You actually leave the stuff behind, right? So why do you get hung up with the smallest things in life? If you really want to do, have something to hate, hate war, hate injustice, hate poverty. Uh, those are good things to hate about and you can do something about it. And I'll, I'll finish the session with a question. Is yep. In what ways in your life can hate be great? <laughs> and this is Maverick and Dave signing off. Okay, see you soon.